Good morning. It's Sunday the 31st of July. It's about 20 past 8 in the morning. We were up very late today, probably because I didn't sleep much and for some reason, somehow I managed to turn off my alarm this morning and instead of snoozing it. So not ideal, but I guess I needed the sleep. Oliver came barging into me about eight o'clock, dragged me out of bed, which is good because otherwise I think I'd have been there all day. The scales are very nice to me this morning. I felt very good looking at my results on the scale, so that's that's excellent. Even my visceral uh, fat has gone down into uh, the acceptable range now, so that's excellent. And yeah, it's uh, it's a nice day, very overcast. It says it's going to rain all day, but it is warm. It says it's only 18 degrees, but it feels really humid and close. So I don't know if it's going to be a bit of a hot one indoors today. Oh, no. Well, yesterday, I didn't actually manage to do a proper exercise routine, but we did do the Nelly bike ride and according... Really? I knew you'd do that. Very good. Okay, so yesterday didn't quite go to plan. I didn't end up changing the bed sheets, which obviously that means I definitely need to do that today. And I didn't end up doing an actual exercise routine, but According to Fitbit, I still had a pretty good day. I'm still on track. I had a good amount of zone minutes. I burnt a good amount of calories. I did a good amount of steps. So it just goes to show you that that little bike ride that we did with Nelly and all of that cleaning <laughs> has really helped me out. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Now it's Sunday today. So generally speaking on Sundays, I would aim to have a lazy day and the weather's pretty rubbish to be honest. So I think we probably will have a relatively lazy day, but I think I'm going to aim to do at least some sort of exercise today even if it's not like a full workout or something like that definitely need to change the bed sheet and tonight we're doing a, another minecraft chaos stream with uh, maribel jade slack lizard and gen fire so i need to get all prepared for that because there's loads of stuff you have to do in the background to get all of that sorted out so i've got a lot of stuff to do for that today and i haven't even announced it yet so i obviously need to do that so i'm sat at the computer getting ready to make the announcement on that <laughs> and then spend an hour or so actually trying to plumb in all of the details we need for that so yeah that's gonna be fun It's lunchtime and we're having chicken burger bagels. Mine's got some halloumi in it. Oliver's hasn't because I don't think I like it. But he's gonna have lots of sauce instead. Well, that was a right royal pain in the um, neck. <laughs> took ages, I tried to do it inside out, then I had to put it back the right way around. I hate doing it, I'm not very good at doing it. And what makes matters worse is these supposedly white sheets went through the boil wash with a dark brown towel and now I've gone all yellowy. So I think I need some new bed sheets as well. Oh man. And when I'm doing the washing, particularly sheets, I always put them on a 90 degree boil wash just to make sure they are like, get well, like anything bad on them like, skin and grease and all that sort of stuff definitely comes out but it doesn't have to make the colors run when you've got something else in there by accident <laughs> baby clothing 90 degrees go for a long time and use many many electricity so lunch is done the beds are done exercise hasn't been done it's Sunday, it's supposed to be my day off, but I didn't really do much yesterday and I've had a very lazy week. And why, when I'm sat by the window here, does the top of my head look ginger? I, <laughs> I ain't got any problem with ginger hair, but that's not my hair. What little hair I have left on my head is dark brown and with little white speckledy bits now, because I'm really old, but certainly not ginger. So I don't know what it is about this light that does that, but there you go. <sighs> I really need to do some core exercise stuff. But I also really can't be bothered. So I might leave it a little bit later and do it a little bit later in the afternoon. Or 
skip it all together. I don't know at this point. We'll see. It's 7.30 p.m. I just put Oliver to bed. We did take Nelly out for a walk. We went to a new place with the park where Oliver could play, so that was good fun. And then we went out for tea. We went to get a carvery, which is basically Sunday dinner, which was very nice and quite filling. I did try and have a small portion, but uh, it's very difficult to have a small portion when you can basically get as much as you want and it all looks incredibly tasty. So it wasn't all that small. I haven't done much exercise. In fact, I haven't really done a great deal at all today, <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you, but it's been a lovely day and I'm looking forward to doing this live stream in a couple of hours. So uh, I've got that to look forward to. So yeah, let's hope I'm a little bit more active tomorrow. It's 25 to midnight. The stream is finally over. It was absolutely great fun. We all had an amazing time. It seemed to go down well with everybody. So I'm looking forward to doing another one of those. But right now, I need the loo <laughs> and I need to go to bed. Although I'm still kind of sort of hyped up a bit. So I don't know how well I'll sleep tonight, but we'll see. See you later. <laughs>「On Monday the 1st of August I've been on the scales It wasn't particularly good news But I didn't think it would be after that Sunday dinner yesterday And having done very little exercise Realistically But it's not a bad thing Because that means we can work hard this week To bring everything back And speaking of working hard this week The reason I'm late actually making my first Vlog thing to you What's it called when I speak to you I don't know My first piece to camera <laughs> Um Oliver's just been picked up by his grandparents, so has Nelly. So I've got the day, potentially, provided nothing comes up, completely free to get on with doing some actual work. And you might be able to see behind me, I have one laptop, two laptops, one computer, two computers plugged in, and a bunch of phones on my desk, because I'm gonna try very hard to do my next piece of storyline for Truly Bedrock, which is an absolute nightmare because I've got to have everything connected and try and make it all work at the same time. I have had a few of the TB members offer to help me out and like puppeteer some of the characters, but generally speaking, they're all in bed round about now because they live on the other side of the world. So I think I'm just gonna try and get it done and out of the way as quickly as possible today so that I can move on and actually start making some like actual minecraft content so wish me luck here goes what about exercise i'll i'm not even going to think about diet or exercise or anything until this is done today if i get it done early then all of those things can come later on in the day but this needs to take priority because i've let it go on for so long and yeah i need i need to get cracking with it so it has to take priority it's now quarter to ten, and on the surface of things, things seem good. The Surface laptop is connected, my PC is connected, the XPS laptop is connected, this PC is connected, and even this old phone is connected. However, my phone has decided to update Minecraft to 1.19.11, which means it can't connect because the server's running 1.19.2, which is what all of the story stuff was developed in, which means I either need to find another way of connecting another device to the server or update literally everything else. And this is why it takes so long for me to make these story things because nothing ever goes smoothly. So the reason I need so many devices plugged in is because there's gonna be four characters on screen and I need two cameras. I need two cameras so that I can cut between the cameras so that well, in the edit, it doesn't just look like there's loads of jump cuts because that would just look weird. So <laughs> you say, you think, oh, it'd be easy to update them all to 1.19.11, but it wouldn't because I've then got to copy all of the files for 1.19.11 from my PC to all the other devices and then update all of those because I can't download it from the store because all of my accounts are still locked in the beta, which doesn't even exist. So it's an absolute nightmare. <laughs> and I don't know what else I can do other than do that. So I guess back to square one. Oh, geez. It's now just gone 10 past 10. And now I have everybody in the game as they need to be. However, now I need to go through the process of trying to link the controllers to the right device because obviously we use these for the Xbox and stuff as well. So they've all delinked with the wrong thing. And Windows should make it easy to link controllers, but it doesn't. When you try and link an Xbox controller, you'd think it'd be easy because it's made by Microsoft, but it doesn't 
necessarily always connect, which can be difficult. So I've got this blue one connected to this phone here. This white one is connected to this phone here. And this black one should be connected to this one, but it won't connect. So I'm going to have to plug it in manually, which means that then I've got to deal with wires all over the place while I'm trying to switch between things as well. So it just makes life even more fun. Oh, I love doing these storyline videos. It's so much fun. It's effortless. I wish I could do them all day, every day. Man, I know you guys love the story stuff, but it's a nightmare. <laughs> it's an absolute nightmare. Surface laptop made by Microsoft, running Microsoft software for Minecraft, which is made by Microsoft, trying to connect to a Microsoft Xbox controller, which shows it's doing the connection thing, yet nothing. Can't find your device. It's so ridiculous. It's literally sat there next to it. It worked last time. All you do is you go to add Bluetooth controller, Xbox controller specifically. Yes, please, please connect, please. Are you going to connect? No, of course not. Why would you connect? That would be too simple. That would be the easy thing to do, wouldn't it? Nothing. They're so useless. How do they make stuff so... How are they a billion or trillion dollar company? They're so useless at everything. I honestly, it begs belief how Microsoft didn't go bust years ago because everything they make is total junk. And that honestly, I don't know one thing that they've ever done that I liked. <laughs> Oh, that worked more to the point. It's awful. It's now 10.23 and I'm about ready to give up on this project because it is driving me absolutely insane. So first of all, plugging the Xbox controller into this laptop, even though it says it's connected, is not working. It's doing absolutely nothing at all, which is totally useless. And another one is that I've got this white Xbox controller plugged into this one here, but there's a massive amount of input lag, which means the slightest movement can really drastically affect the camera and what it's doing. And obviously, if I'm trying to control a character to nod and move and do things, I can't really do it if there's loads of input lag because I need to be able to move around while doing it. So that's like one of the main characters, that's the world builders device so it uh, means the world builder is going to be all over the place which is going to be a nightmare and the other one is foxy no tail my character and i need them to be able to do things as well which i guess i could just use the trackpad and i could move around like this but when you're trying to use three different controllers a keyboard and mouse and all the other stuff going on at the same time it's very difficult and to have a controller plugged in is just much simpler because you're not accidentally knocking the mouse you're not accidentally pressing the wrong button and it takes up way less space on your desk so to say i dislike doing this stuff now it's just got harder and harder and harder to do anything like this. And I think it's probably because I take too much on. I try to achieve too much. I try to have too many things going on at once. And that's my own fault. But I, I just don't, I have no enjoyment in it anymore. And it genuinely, make it, the whole process, because nothing ever works, makes me angry. So obviously when I finally get to the point where I'm ready to record doing the voices and doing the actions and the things, I'm already in a bad mood, which then I've got to pretend everything's fun and happy and great but i'm just sitting there thinking i hate this and i wish it was over so i think this is and i know i've said this loads of times and i know this sounds disappointing but i think this is genuinely going to be the last time that i do any sort of level of storyline on this scale on my own because i just can't i can't deal with it by this point in the day i could have already recorded and be starting to edit a normal truly bedrock video depending on the scale of it obviously if i was building something massive maybe not but I'd at least be a long way into it. But I'm not even at the point where I've clicked record on anything yet. And I'm already annoyed and just wanted to throw every single device I've got out the window, to be perfectly honest with you. It is now 10.32. <laughs> I've fixed the problem here by doing a restart, which is great. And I've fixed the problem with my phone connecting to the controller properly and the input lag by plugging it in directly. However, that does mean that if this character doesn't move regularly, now that it's not plugged into the mains, the phone will shut off and it's also draining my battery at a ridiculously rapid rate. So I guess I better get on with it so that it doesn't disconnect until we're finished. Oh geez. It is now 20 past 11. As you can see on my desk, there's a lot less clutter and that means that I've pretty much finished recording the bit where I needed most of the characters on screen. I don't think it's going to cut together very well. <laughs> I don't think it went particularly smoothly. I haven't watched any of it back yet. It's going to be 
Not much fun editing it, I don't think. It's going to be very hard, but hopefully something good will come out of it. I've still got a bunch of stuff left to record for this particular episode, but most of that's going to be first-person view of Foxy, and then there'll be a little bit where he comes back at the end with the world builder, but Big Chicken and Mr. Onion have both, you know, gone off in places now, so uh, I don't need to worry about those too much. So hopefully the rest of this is going to be a lot easier. I'm very concerned at how this video is actually going to come out, but I will do my best in the edit to make it as good as it can be, and hopefully it doesn't go down too badly. But yeah, oh man, please don't make me do that again. <laughs> it's so annoying. Good news, it is 20 past one in the afternoon. I've not had lunch yet, but I do have a couple of little snacky things on my desk that I'm going to eat. And the good news is that, well, two things really. Number one piece of good news is hopefully inside of this box is my new or oh, my replacement GoPro Lite. And the second bit of good news is this edit that I'm doing is actually coming together quite nicely. And it is, <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but basically my imagination suddenly going crazy on all the things that this can link into and how I can bring all of the seasons of Trudy Bedrock together in some sort of way in the future. So as much as I said I don't want to do any more last stuff like this again, I got some ideas that I might just not be able to resist doing. So yeah, mm, to be continued, I guess, which means that this episode might actually end up going a lot, lot different from how I expected it to, but we'll see. But before we get to any of that, I want to open this package. What's inside the box? Oh, really? <laughs> Amazing. This is not even in a box. It's not even in a box. No instructions, no box, no packaging. Just a little bit of bubble wrap and a new light, which is not new. <laughs> it's probably refurbished or used. Does it work? Oh, it works though. So, you know, bonus there. But how long will it work for? That's the great. I can't believe they just sent me a random... Oh my goodness me. Yeah, and it's got... I don't know if you can see that, but it's got all stuff stuck on the inside of it. It's not new. They've sent me some scabby replacement for, from the bin in the warehouse, no doubt. Oh, jeez. Well, so much for warranties, I guess. Well, if it works, at least, you know, that's a positive and I don't have to worry about it. But I'm, I'm a bit annoyed that it's not a new one, to be honest with you. Bad news... I shouldn't have opened this snack bar at my desk. It just happens to be the most crumbliest snack bar in the world and has made a complete mess just opening it. Oh, man. It's 10 to 5 in the afternoon and I've got some good news. The good news is the video. I've done it 100% complete. I just need to render it out and make a thumbnail and upload it. The bad news is I've eaten nothing today other than a snack bar and an apple and some breakfast. I haven't done any exercise and I, I, I don't know, <laughs> I don't really feel like doing any, but I'm going to put today down as a massive win because this has been a huge mental block for me. This is this video, believe it or not, has been what's preventing me from making any videos on Trudy Bedrock and streaming from Pr Trudy Bedrock for nearly a month. So Without this out of the way, I honestly do feel I can get back to normal now. Whether it will or not is a different story, but as far as I'm concerned, that was my mental block. So I, yeah. So I'm, I'm just really happy that's out of the way. It's a massive weight off my shoulders. I can't wait to get it uploaded and out there. And I normally wait for the weekend and stuff like this, but since it's a story video and they don't do very well on my channel anyway, I'm just going to put it out there as soon as it's ready, probably tomorrow, and see what people think of it. But for right now, I need to go and make some food. Just been out in the garden, I found a bee that looks to be very tired or perhaps asleep. So I've just made some sugar water and put it in this little pipette and I'm hopefully gonna give him a drink. This is, doesn't look very well. Oh. Oh, it turns out he was fine. <laughs> that was a waste of time. <laughs> well, I tried to be a hero. I guess he was just having a snooze. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, I tried, I tried to be a hero for the bees. Jeez, what a waste of time. <laughs>
I haven't made any food yet. I've been too busy uh, making the thumbnail for this video and getting it uploaded to YouTube because I'd like to do a premiere on it today. Considering how bad I felt about it this morning and how much I wanted to throw all of my devices out the window, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out and I'd like to get a live reaction of what people think of it, which is what premieres are really good for. So yeah, assuming it uploads in time, 7 p.m. is when I've uh, set the time for on my Discord. I've made an announcement. Hopefully a few people will be there. The premiere has just finished. It seemed to go down pretty well. People seem quite happy with it, which is good news. So yeah, that's great. It is 25 to 8. And I think for the rest of the day, I'm just going to put my feet up, which means I've had another day of no exercise. I really need to get on it tomorrow. So I will. Okay, it's a promise to myself and you and me. Okay, good night.